of Qantas's return to training um, and he's aiming at his first 40k so today we're going out with Tizzy and Sa on Sarah not Tizzy on Sarah Sarah on Tizzy and me on Qantas to do his 16 kilometer test ride so I'm just gonna pack the lorry up and fingers crossed this goes well because we still have had issues if you can hear in the background they're streaming on the docks I apologize um, We've still had a few issues with him being a sore. I don't think necessarily so much on the laser sight, but more in his lats. Um, so we've kind of been doing lots of back massage work, lots of stretches, which he was doing anyway, but kind of more focused on lats to see whether that helps him. So fingers crossed this test run goes well because his first 40K isn't far away. We have arrived. Whistle, getting a free ride snacking. Wonders, what are you up to? <laughs> Nothing, as usual. Hey. Let's get tacked up and go. I'm very impressed with Qantas for not having a fit every time a branch touches my helmet because last year that noise made him poop his pants every time. So well done cuboids, little steps, good lad. So we're now back at Poplar's farm. So look at all these beautiful flowers. I think they open up for like open gardens sometimes in the Wildwood Lodge. It is absolutely beautiful. So now, no, don't eat them, Gondus. <laughs> now we're gonna go on to the cross country course for a few laps and see how we go. Gondus, <laughs> don't eat the pretty flowers. Look at that, beautiful. Two. Oh, Qantas. Two sweaty ponies. You're very good. Qantas was really good. No dramas about the gear. Actually quite well behaved, about, apart from going maybe a little bit too fast in the canter. Tizzy was badly behaved as usual, wasn't she, Sarah? <laughs> yeah. 
Animal control stay there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed a bit. I missed a bit, Wizzle. Let me get the sponge out. Okay, we're back off to the yard, hose down their legs, give them some post-training food back out in the field and then we're going to go and give Azid a bath and lots of attention because it's his last day with us. Sad face. taking him, I'm going to take him myself tomorrow um, because I just wanted to see where he's going, see where you're going to live and hopefully they will love him just as much as I do and he will settle in nicely. I'm not going to video anything of um, him going because I'll be sad. So say bye to Azid, bye Azid, bye Pony. Bye, Wizzle.